Case, this could be very short. Be very short. Does anybody yeah, have a proposal? I suggest that speaker take the middle of the circle. I suggest that speaker take the middle of the circle. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, just to begin then. Just to begin then. Mic check! Mic check! I think I have a proposal, but I'm not sure. Proposal, but I'm not sure. We were talking about building a community center tent. Oh, we were sorry. talking about building a community center tent. Actually, I have a point of information about that. Okay. Uh, there's actually going to be an announcement today. There's actually, actually going to be an announcement today. today. Uh, about converting the media tent. About converting, converting the media tent. tent. Into an information tent. Into an information tent. And in fact, I'll make that announcement now. And in fact, I'll make that announcement. Uh, Cheryl was wondering, and I was wondering if this should be a proposal or an announcement or an incubator thing about forming a community center where people can spend time, not in their tents, if it's raining, and we can have it be a center of music and also like sitting around and talking and that sort of thing, and having workshops. And the tent honestly is not big enough to facilitate that, I don't believe. We're not talking about any specific tent. I'm talking about like starting one now and like people want to... process. What a process. Uh, on this side, uh, I, to address your question, I think uh, I would say the, the best way to handle that would be to create a working group for it, which I mean, is just basically anybody that's interested in this, get together and see what can happen here to make it happen. Uh, and at that point, we can make it an announcement. Buddy. Point of information, we do not have to come to consensus on working groups. So, so in, this situation, start, yeah. Yeah. in this situation, you would just start a working group <laughs> called the Community Center Working Group. Check! Okay. Mike, check! Okay. 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 To reiterate, to reiterate myself, myself, you guys, you guys, you can start picking up after yourself. You can start picking up after yourself. There's half empty bottles of water. There's half empty, empty bottles of water. Garbage strewn across the camp. Garbage strewn across the camp. It looks like a big side. It looks like a big side. You need to take pride in where you live. You need to take pride in where you live. The food was could potentially, the food could potentially, be cut off, be cut off, be cut off because, you because you guys are not taking care, because you guys are not taking care of your end of the bargain, of your end of the bargain. See how everybody feels about that. Okay, so if everybody feels that way, so if everybody feels that way, why isn't it getting done? Why isn't it getting done? Why isn't it getting done? It sounded like a threat. Do yeah, you have a clarifying one. question? <laughs> yeah, I mean, is, is that what's going to happen? Like, check. Mike, check. 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 Oh. Is the food getting taken away? I mean, I don't know. Is the food, food getting taken, taken away? Are if, people going to start picking up after themselves? Are people going to start picking up after themselves? Okay, so if you see garbage. So if you see garbage. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. process. Let's not do this in the back and forth. Better ask the question if you have a direct response to it. That's not a great question. In the announcement stage, in the announcement stage, uh, there are...
the announcement stage. The announcement stage. Okay, at the camp, the camp specific GA. Um, somebody mentioned what to do in case of a riot. Yes. And that was something that um, I was very curious about what the larger dialogue surrounding that is. Uh, at the G20 here in Pittsburgh that a lot of a lot of people in this camp partook in, um, there was a lot of violent reaction in, in neighborhoods with children and uh, older women. Uh, there were a lot of people coming out of their houses in support and uh, they were gassed. Uh, you know, they have uh, one of the LRAD machines, they use that in neighborhoods. Uh, I think a lot of people saw a lot of things during that and there wasn't a whole lot of national media on that. That, uh, therefore affected, yeah, therefore, therefore affected people in a way that now people think that maybe Pittsburgh police response, especially since they got a black hawk out of that whole situation as well, uh -huh. is not going to end up being so friendly in the end. I think at some point uh, there could be militant out actions out of this camp that therefore would, would create a situation that uh, an exit strategy would be important. Those, none of those would be sanctioned, of course, I, I, it, because uh, we took a, <coughs> took a battle of nonviolence, so uh, any actions that would be taken would not be sanctioned or violent actions or at, at the G20 here, too, it wasn't only the Pittsburgh police. We had about, uh, I, I'd say, 20 other police departments that sent their entire riot squads here. They had encampments outside of the tunnel for them uh, that resembled military barracks and stuff. I mean, it was it was definitely a, a way different situation than we're in right now in the Occupy. Uh, but I think that people were, were felt very threatened by that. Uh, there was violence against a lot of people that was uncalled for by Pittsburgh City Police, and I think people were just very nervous about what this is going to turn into. Do you think that this could turn into some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy? Yes, I think it, yeah, I think it is. Um, but I think as a camp, in my opinion, what I've heard is like the issue of survival of the camp. The issue of survival in our society? In my opinion, in no, no, in the camp. Survival if of there's the a mil of the camp, I see. You, I mean, uh, several people have commented on the cold tonight, and it is penetrating just because it's uh, so wet, but it's going to snow. And Yeah, it, well, it's <laughs> been cold here the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it snowed a week before south of here, uh, before, a week before the season started in the beginning of October. Uh, so it's... Yeah, it's a situation in Pittsburgh where it's really bad weather and you're going to have to live in the weather. I mean, our rain is constant most of the year. Uh, it gets really cold here. It snows a lot here and people are willing to camp here in that. Mm -hmm. do, you, uh, do you feel like you have very good community support? Are you getting many donations of needed items to weather the cold? Uh, um, uh, now, like talking about like the weather we get here in the winter with snow and stuff, uh, that's going to be pretty hard to live through without like you know tents that can survive that. Yeah. Uh, and at that point, we, and at this point, we are using that. We usually get a couple big snows a year, a couple feet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right now, no, we're not really prepared for that, but we are. We decided in the GA that we were going to try to be build heating boxes from the, you know, the, on the, on the grounds, which will change the situation too, I believe. I feel the next step that we need to go into is to follow suit with um, the Khan Academy, uh, dot com as well as Stanford University, who have both offered education online for free to the masses as a way to counteract uh, the obvious financial, I call them bear traps, that are being set up for us, including first attempt at college. You, you make one attempt at college and there's two problems with college being that one, it may not be the right choice for you and you uh, just did it because you felt like you didn't have a choice and you, you were raised to believe that's what you were supposed to do. Uh, or, or two, um, you got there 
and for whatever reason we're unable to finish. Uh, the problem being that you are, I do have loans thrown upon you that have a higher interest rate uh, than what any typical uneducated job is capable of paying off given a 10 to 20 year period. You may as well just go out, sell some drugs, get arrested and end up in jail. Uh, is kind of what it equates to. So my question to you, actually, uh, the filmer, um, and in outreach to other professors who see this problem, uh, getting online and working with Stanford and the Khan Academy to further extend the availability of free education to the, to the masses of the world, not just the United States, but to everyone. Uh, knowledge is power, that has been said by many great men, and, and people and I feel like that is a definite positive step that we as a society need to take to help ourselves. Um, well as, as a response to that, uh, because I teach things that are similar to mechanical engineering and how to use uh, woodworking tools, I've often thought it would be really difficult for me to teach online. However, I do also teach creative practices and art theory and so you've inspired in me um, the idea that I'm not as fixed in what it is that I do that I could not teach in that kind of a format. Um, so I'll look into it. I think that's a really good suggestion. I, I Maybe it happens to other educators that they feel like, especially if they teach something that is visual, visual media or physical media, um, that they would have a hard time addressing it online. But if we're creative, I suppose that it's up to us to figure out how to do that effectively. So thank you for pointing that out. Uh, my pleasure. You know, the more educators, uh, that get on board with this, the better. And I'm just trying to help spread the message a little bit. There are people who have taken their time, you know, uh, and forsaken money in, uh, as a choice to help educate people, not for a profit, but for free and for the general education of everyone. Uh, and I feel like that is a great and, and powerful movement and something that is very much so needed by, by anyone who is willing and able to help. We're, we're discussing the basics of the GA process uh, as well as the, the consensus process as a whole, is what we're going over. Okay. Um, so basically, your, your, your vibe checkers, if, if you feel like as an individual, you're not getting, your, your voice is not being heard, your feelings and opinions are not being, being uh, addressed, uh, then it goes to the... Uh, uh, well, okay. It's, it's also worth noting. At this point, clarifying questions are all out, right? Yeah. So everybody at this point should understand exactly what is going on, okay? There are no questions as to what this is about. Everybody knows. You have concerns it's the concern. or you don't. Okay, <laughs> you know, you have concerns or you support. If you have concerns, you have support, whatever it is, the fact of the matter is it still has yet to move to consensus. Once it moves to consensus, if your concerns are big enough that it is not something that should go through, if your concern is important enough, that's when you block. Okay. So the thing of it is, is that your voice is still being heard the second we're asking for consensus. Yeah. So it's right before consensus, at, or no, when we ask consensus. Well, okay, so well, let's get let's get to that. So the, the first step of it is going to be, are there any stand asides? Stand asides, at that point, this is when you're going like this. Yeah. Stand asides are saying one of the few things. You're saying, I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> this, and I, I'll stand aside from, a, from something that, to me, doesn't really affect me. It may affect a lot of people around me, but it doesn't affect me. Okay. It's like a neutral used, stance on it. Well, and I've used it too when I have a conflict of interest. And I feel like for some reason I can't take part. Exactly. I'll stand aside. Okay. Or for that matter, if it's the sort of thing that it's like, you know, I don't necessarily agree with this or disagree with this. Or I don't necessarily agree with this, but I don't care enough to, to block it. Mm -hmm. I don't, whatever it may be, I, I may just stand aside. Okay. If it's, the, I, I can live with this. Yeah, you know? I'll deal with that. Uh, or it can be the sort of thing that it's like, uh, you know, I, it, whatever it is, it's basically, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a neutral kind of thing. Yeah, and then there's the blocks. Then there's the that. blocks. Blocks can be handled in different ways depending on different kind of situations. Uh, now, with a block in this sort of 
it, 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 the, the way the block is used here, and and I think it's the best way to handle it in terms of large assemblies of people, like we have here. Uh, especially large assemblies of people that don't necessarily, as opposed to like a small household or something mm -hmm. like that. When you have these kinds of things in a block, I think is is, is crucial to keep a block yeah. somewhat limited yeah. in what it's used for. Yeah. So the idea of the block here is, I'm blocking this because this is a safety <coughs> concern. This is the sort of thing that can or will, in my opinion, damage this movement. Yeah, and, and what we have, what we've had a lot of people do in the blocks the RGA, which we had grown up with. Well, sometimes with blocks is that people are blocking because they don't want their ideas to be shelved. Because they what? Yeah. They don't want their ideas to be shelved. Okay. That's not well. Which is which is not the problem. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not, not what you use a block for. You that's use a block for something very serious. Exactly. If you disagree, you disagree, and it's a majority. It's the isn't it's the seventy five percent which we agreed on. Right? Yeah, and a block a block means you're actually like putting people in danger or. Because after the block, we do the. Comes, yeah. Do you agree? And if it's seventy five percent or well, more. To back up, after the block is actually. Okay. Then it goes back to uh, to opening up to exactly why that wants in place, okay. and then we open and then we open up stack to find out if we can address this. And the person actually goes back to address it. So if there is a block, they state why. And it goes yeah, exactly. It goes back first off to see if we can address the issue to resolve it. Address if, if issue you, uh, by who? Who addresses it? Well, it goes back to the by, by the person's proposal. Reverse making the proposal, and that can be done through friendly amendments and those kinds All right. of things as well. Um, and will and will generally be done through friendly amendments before it ever reaches a block. Truth be told, that's why that's why you don't see blocks much. Mm. You know, not a true block. Yeah. <laughs> much. Yeah. You get a but lot they of still need to be there like just in case. All the time for no exactly. reason. Out of order. Um. So once we're once we're we're to a block. Um. Basically, what you're saying with the block <laughs> is, I will be removing myself from this if this does pass the consensus. Yeah. So it, 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 that's why it is very serious. The fact of the matter is, this is the sort of thing that it's like, you know, I disagree with the proposal here that we burn down this church, and if you're <laughs> going to do this, then I am not going to be a part of this. Okay. That's that's what this is. Uh, at that point, if there are no blocks, or once a block has been resolved, if there is a block, that is when... Well, if the block is actually, if the block is not resolved, at that point in time, either way, we still have the Yeah. Yeah. If, it's just if there's, there's a block a in effect, that yeah. we have to actually get some percent and actually count to make sure that it's... Okay. Like, so then we go through the consensus, we, we take votes. But it's not we votes. do not take votes. No, consensus no, is a taking consensus. Okay. Ideologically, it's completely different. So at that point, it's, a, it's more called for consensus. If 75% of the people agree, move on. consensus is done, we move on, we go on to the next proposal or on to the next <coughs> yeah. item on I just saying, see a fundamental issue with the given situation. Um, not everyone who is and may wholly be in spirit and effort part of the movement would be available for the General Assembly at any given time, being that we are all still trying to maintain our existence while participating in the <coughs> movement. Um, that, that There's in no itself, really solution for that, though. Well, we no, there, there is. There absolutely is. Because the thing of it is, is I cannot go to tonight's general assembly. This passes. This none of this is set in stone. This is not a permanent, fixed thing. Nothing ever is with these kinds of things. Okay. So, if, so it's if, in a constant state of evolution. It, is, it, it can be brought exactly, back. Exactly. Exactly. Well, well, I'm, quite, <laughs> I'm writing so fast. I'm not actually listening to anything anyone is saying. <laughs> I can't process it. Factual is factual is true. Factualization. Factualization means that people are breaking off into specific groups mm -hmm. to have power struggle over certain ideas that definitely aren't going to get along and see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. So in Occupy, we're here for one reason. At least in this, it, at least in this camp, we, we made the one, the one reason solidarity, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the 99 percent. It is, is that that's what it comes down to at the end of it is that each of these camps 
is different. Each of these camps will run slightly different. We can take uh, ideas, from the ideas and recommendations and those kinds of things, and, and, and we are and we should. Mm -hmm. That having been said, uh, I, I mean, the fact of the matter is the concerns of Occupy Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. is entire, or, or not necessarily entirely, but certainly in certain places entirely different mm -hmm. than the needs of Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Washington, D.C., or any of the other 1,400 Occupy cities throughout the country, mm -hmm. or throughout the world. I mean, we, we have no idea what their concerns are in Madrid. Mm. Yeah. Compared to what we're doing. It's not our here. culture. It's a completely exactly. different culture. They have a different. They look. They see a com in completely different eyes than we do. Exactly. No. But like, we're still all. F I mean, it's still one unified movement. I think. But it's it unified yeah. with its separate subgroups. If that makes any sense. Like. It's a, it's a, it's a somewhat <coughs> unified. Yeah. What I would say at least is it's a somewhat unified system. Mm -hmm. And it's a somewhat unified movement in the sense that we all do stand in support and solidarity with one another. That yeah. having been said, the specifics in terms of the needs, the demands, uh, are different everywhere. Are going to be different everywhere. The, the fact of the matter is, our action uh, at the end of the week here, across the street, is a local issue. Yeah, it mm. is. It is. It is, an, and it, and it's a, it's a huge issue. But when you start it on a local level, you can work your way up, and that's... Well, yeah. Well, the other well, thing... Well, yeah. I'm not even sure you need to work your way yeah. up. Yeah. Because, because you're working well, yourself, will... yourself laterally. Yeah. Exactly. Because the thing of it is, is we're taking care of, as much as we can, the issues right here in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's and that's that's what I was about to say, that, like, I haven't heard enough talk about this around camp, but this is, like, you know, Pittsburgh's a hotbed for radical action and militant mm -hmm. action. One of the oldest, I mean, and some of the greatest, the Homestead Riots. Yeah. Uh, they fired onto Pinkertons yeah. <laughs> out in the river, killed them all. I mean, you, and you people guys, aren't people aren't history, relating yeah. to this as yeah. like Pittsburgh history, you know. I'm not from Pittsburgh. I don't know much about Pittsburgh's history. I, mean, like, I should probably educate myself. I, 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 yeah. And, well, and I'll, I'll tell you uh, on on all of the general subjects <laughs> we're hearing around camp. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can make a recommendation for a one-stop shop and endorse a local business, <laughs> uh, big idea. Yeah, big idea. Big idea bookstore is definitely down, uh, out on, down on Liberty. It's fantastic. It is, uh, yeah, phenomenal. And so could I type this up what I wrote after talking to you guys, and yeah. can we use that for workshops? So. And also possibly hand them out. Just at the next couple yeah. GA meetings, hand them out to people at the <coughs> beginning. So they know, so they can go through and say, okay, this is what this means, and we'll go through it and say, you know, this is what this means. Do not, when you're asking a clarifying question, interject your opinions or concerns, because this is not the time for your concerns. We have a special time for your concerns, and you're wasting time. But it, it's you a difficult to change say that in a very politically correct way without mm -hmm. actually uh, offending people. I mean, or, or, exactly. with, or, or without use, taking power or something. Exactly. Use, that, that's, if, that's, if you're trying to Well, that's avoid, why I figured I was going to type it up stance of power. with the definitions of what yeah. it is and hand them out to everybody at the beginning of the GA meeting during workshops. Because then it's like they're reading it on a piece of paper. This is the rule. Well, well according to well, that's the thing. Well, like, not rules. Well, but these, these are the thing. guidelines. This, this is, is what this we've all agreed on. You can only put it in context yeah, this, of guidelines. This is the system we've agreed to work with. Yeah, the system of the GA meetings is this. Let's but well, then, let's let's go ahead and, and wrap up what we what we need. Where are we at? Incubator. The incubator. The incubator. Oh. Purpose of the incubator, as I understand it, at least having seen it exactly once, uh, <laughs> is to formulate ideas with other people that have the same ideas, so that we can come together to create a working group of girls and based on those ideas. to bed around 2.30, awake at 6.30, because I had to move my car, um, heading on to Cleveland, and videoing the exterior of the, the Occupy movement. Never got to see Occupy Pittsburgh by the light of day.